This is a tutorial on how to create your paper packets without printing. Um, this is going to, the ver way I'm going to show you how to do it today has you using your iPad and the app Notability. So you need to make sure that you first have Notability downloaded. That is a paid app, so you want to download it from Manager so that you get it for free. And if it's not a choice from your manager, email Mr. Weldy and he'll help you with that. So when you are creating your paper packets without printing, I would recommend having a cover sheet for your students and for yourself. You can move the pages around in Notability, but it's kind of tricky because you only can move one page at a time. So your multi-page documents, it'd be very easy to accidentally get them out of order. So you're much better off importing them in the order that you want it. So here's just the sample cover sheet that I made that's going to be helpful for me personally if I were teaching the class, but it also is going to show me the order that I want to put my paper documents. So on this right column it says like I need the power I need um a PowerPoint slides first in the packet, then I want a figurative language practice worksheet. I want the idiom pictures assignment, all summer a day short story. I don't need anything for them to write their paragraph and then the figurative language test. So if this is the very first thing that I want in the cover page uh, that I want in my paper packet, then this is the first thing I want to send to Notability. So I'm going to hit those three dots and I'm going to pick share and export, send a copy. I want it to be a PDF. It takes it just a second to convert that to PDF and now Notability should be a choice. If it's not, then you have to hit more to find Notability as a choice. And if it's still not showing up as a choice, it's probably either updating or you need to download it. So I'm sending this one to Notability. I wanna make this a new note because this is the first document that I've sent over. Um, it's really helpful to have it have a good title right from the beginning. Um, so it says cover sheet, but this is actually going to be everything for me. So McClellan, March 30th through April 10th, paper packet. All right, now that I've named it, I can go ahead and import that into Notability. The first document that you send to Notability, you are going to want to open up Notability just so that it finishes saving. That way you can keep tacking stuff on to the end. So now that I've sent one document, I do want to open up Notability to make sure it got imported. Remember, I can find the app, or if I don't know where it is, I can push down from the middle of the page and do a search to get to my apps. So my new document is now here, and it's got my cover sheet as the first page. So I'm going to use that cover sheet as a reference and that's going to tell me the order that I need to put my stuff. So um, the first thing that they're going to need in the paper portion for my homework is the PowerPoint slides. So I saved all the files I would need in a single Google Drive folder. That way it would be really easy for me to find and I would, you know, call it whatever packet date this was. So the first thing they needed was the PowerPoint. So it's all pretty easy similar from here. It really is just clicking the three dots, share and export, send a copy, making sure it says PDF. Okay. And then picking Notability from here. The only thing different is this time I'm going to add it to that McClellan. If for some reason it doesn't have add to with your note that you already made, you'll want to pick that add to another note and then you'll be able to select, select the note you already created to add it on. And this is just going to send all of my stuff in order. So the next thing that I needed was the figurative language practice worksheet. So from my drive, this is the practice worksheet. So same thing, I'm gonna open up that doc. 
This pretty much works the same way. So rather than take you step by step through me doing the same thing a few times, I'm just gonna let it run fast. It's really just hitting those three dots, sending a copy as a PDF, choosing Notability, and adding it onto your existing document. It's the same thing when you're doing anything from Google Drive. So this is just taking you through the next couple of docs I did at a quicker speed so that I don't have to bore you with the same instructions over and over. This next one was a little different. If I look at my cover sheet to see what I needed next, the next one I needed was the short story. Um, I actually, I don't have that short story saved anywhere. It is a web page that has this full text. Whenever you're doing this, I recommend doing it from Safari because then you can use their reader view, which can be toggled on with this double A button that's by the URL. So I'm going to hit that and I'm gonna choose show reader view. And that is just gonna clean up this document. So now it didn't have that big sidebar. So it has just the story I want. So now I'm gonna use this send button to add this to my note. Again, I choose Notability. And it was a pretty big document, so it is gonna take a minute for this one to load. So once again, I just wanna add this to the note that I already had. So it's just slightly different than um, what I was doing from the Google stuff. And I can import that from that same note. So if I check my cover sheet, the next thing was write a paragraph. They didn't need anything for that. And then take the attached figurative language test. This one's just slightly different too because it was a PDF. But again, I had it saved in my Google Drive. So I'm gonna just open up that PDF document. But it's gonna look pretty similar. Three dots, send a copy, notability. Add to that same note, import. So now when I go into Notability, it should have all of those documents. And so now that I, I've sent them all in order, it was blank, some blanks at first while things were still loading, but now everything appears to be here and it should have everything I need in order because I was kind of careful to do that from the beginning. If I didn't, I can rearrange. Like I said, you just have to do it one page at a time. If you want to need to do that, you hit this page button to the top and you can click and drag them in different orders. At the end of my web page that I imported, it also included some stuff that I don't actually need this like end stuff about the authors so I can delete those pages and how I do that is at the bottom left hand corner of the individual pages it has these three dots and I pick those dots and hit delete page so I'm just deleting all the stuff I didn't need but then it should have everything that my packet needed so once it is for sure in the order, it has all of my stuff, starts with my cover page, then I can hit the send button. I'm going to send it to Google Drive. If you're not logged into Google Drive, I think right here is where it'll show you to log in um, to your Google Drive account. Well, choose Google Drive and then here it should say that. You can pick where you want it to save, so as long as your notability is up to date, that shouldn't be a problem. If it doesn't load where you can pick a folder, just remember what it was called and you'll be able to search for it on your Google Drive. So I saved mine under coronavirus stuff, making paper packets is where I'm going to have this save, the full thing. And so now I can choose export, send to Google Drive. So now it should be there. in that folder. So I had to refresh the folder by swiping down. But there's my full packet.
This is just a way to avoid printing, um, but still put your packet all in one document so it's easy to get to.